the Home Secretary or any other government minister is unhappy with the decision of a judge or a group of judges, uh, the sensible and appropriate course is to appeal that decision. And if as a result of a, an appeal, uh, the Home Secretary or other minister still gets an answer they don't like, uh, then they can change the law. For ministers to attack judges in public undermines public confidence, probably in both ministers and judges, and is unfair because the judges can't and certainly shouldn't reply, so it becomes a one-way argument. Uh, on the 1st of April, the most swinging cuts to legal aid that we've seen uh, probably since its inception uh, will take place. Essentially, the whole of social welfare law will be taken out of the scope of public funding. How concerned are you that that will be a real problem in terms of people, the most vulnerable people in our society, getting access to justice? My worry is that the removal of legal aid for people to get advice about law and get representation in court will start to undermine uh, the rule of law because people will feel that the government isn't giving them access to justice in all sorts of cases and that will either lead to frustration and lack of confidence in the system or it will lead to people taking the law into their own hands. I think the other problem is that the increase in, in, in the number of people who represent themselves in court, self-represented litigants, uh, who can't afford a lawyer and won't get legal aid for a lawyer, will mean uh, that court hearings will last longer, the burden on court staff and on judges will increase. And you may find that the savings that the government think it's making in legal aid will be offset by increased costs of courts and judges and court staff in supporting litigants in person. Do you ever feel just a tinge of embarrassment, shame even, that the public who look at the composition of this, our highest court, see a court of 11 men and one woman? It doesn't reflect society. I regret it, yes, and um, sometimes I feel a bit embarrassed about it. But I think that we are choosing on the basis of merit, and I think that the British people deserve the best judges that they can get in the top court. And what we've tried to do is to ensure they get the best judges. And if we are predominantly men and all white, that is a shame and we should be doing things to try and change it.